ever since Strictly Come Dancing first aired in 2004, there has been speculation among BBC viewers about the Strictly curse. The dreaded curse claims contestants taking part in the show are at risk of their relationship falling apart due to the amount of time they spend rehearsing together. In the latest series of Strictly, Adam Peaty and Katya Jones sparked speculation following their steamy dance routines. Viewers also believed AJ Adudu and Kai Woodrington had become an item after their near kiss at the end of one of their performances. However, in an exclusive interview with Express, UK, YouTube star Saffron Barker addressed the so-called Strictly curse. She went on to admit she can see how the curse happens to some couples. Saffron took part in the 2019 series of Strictly and was partnered up with AJ Pritchard, who has since left the BBC show. The influencer managed to make it more than halfway through the competition. However, she landed in the bottom two, when she and AJ failed to impress the judges with their samba. Speaking about the curse, Saffron began, I know I'm the worst person to ask because, in my year, there was absolutely no strictly curse. The influencer continued, the only curse we had, was people getting injured. I mean, everyone thought that AJ and I were going to get together and he just ended up being one of my best friends. And it's funny because we never ever would be more than friends. But I can see how it happens because you spend so long with someone. You don't normally spend 10 to 12 hours a day with someone so I could see how it happens, she added. But I had like no experience of it, and no one in my year got the Strictly curse. The latest series of Strictly may have come to an end, but the celebrities and professional dancers are currently on tour with their stage show. Discussing how she found the dance training and what it was like to work with AJ, Saffron admitted the dance pro was a bit bossy. He was a bit bossy but he was also the most patient person ever, the YouTuber said. I wish I was that patient because I don't know how he did it. When you see someone doing something for the 23rd time and they still haven't got it right, I don't know how you just don't give up. He definitely was bossy but I have to give him the benefit of the doubt. Directly Come Dancing is available to watch on BBC iPlayer, 